tutorial I'm going to be showing you how I make the uh, bunting that stands on the top of a cake for any celebration cake really so very easy to do so you need two of these these are paper drinking straws which um, you can pick up from your local supermarket these you'll also need now I use a 28 gauge for when I'm doing this so basically all you do is grab your you need one and just bend it a little bit so as you're doing you know when you're curling anything so it's got the little bend in it to begin with so then attach at the top so just take it round like that take it round a couple of times so that it's nice and secure all you do is just twist it round like so and then trim the end of the pair of scissors one side, so you now need to do the other side. So grab that. Now you can get these in different sizes. I sometimes use this one around the cake as well. I'm going to use the bigger size so that it matches the one that's on the cake as well. So one. I've set the one to about there. yourself a little bit more room again on the top here you want to be getting it round about the same size as what you've got it on the other one again with it being wire you can adjust it anyway so you've got that on and just twist it round so it's nice and tight so that that's not going to move just snip it worry about it if it does stick out a little bit because your paste will cover it so now you have the basis of your or the start of your bunting and you want to make sure that it is pointing down as well don't keep it up like this because when it goes on the cake it's going to be like that so you want to drop it down a little bit so don't worry about this too much because your ribbon's going to cover this as well you've got your bases and then you can always move this once you've got it on the cake anyway so that's how you start the bunting to go on your cake then as it's we've got a, a little pink cake we've got three lots of colored icings here so just gently warm them up a little bit so i want to have a little bit of pattern on the, the bunting as well instead of having to draw on it or paint on it so what i've also got here just a little bit some embossing mats on there okay so just a little bit too much there so you can see how thin it is okay, I always roll this out at the same time so that I know I'm going to get the same thickness for for anything that I'm attaching on the cake I will do. Let's cut that into there. So then now I've got four. So on the white one, I'm going to leave plain because I'm going to be putting a heart on that. So just do your cutting out. Clean your edges whilst it's there. Pop it out and cut it. That's it. Now the beauty of doing it is instead of getting other um, cutters and that is that you, as you saw I can use this for if I want to do a diamond shape or anything or I can just cut these into smaller ones for when I want to do bunting so this is what saves me a bit of money doing it that way and then what I've got here is a tiny heart cutter and all I'll do with that put it through here that over onto my sponge there so I don't need that other white here darker pink here gently roll that over 
sobie tutaj. This is uh, one from them um, purple cupcakes that I've had for ages and ages. So if you wanted to, it depends what you want, if you want to do it straight or if you want to do it then like so. Another good thing about this as well is that if you turn it around this way, you can see the lines are going horizontal here. Press on here. I've got them going dangling in, so I can do it anyway now. Oops, I forgot to clean it while it was there. It's been a cutter. I'll have another one of the darker one. So I'll just pick up your pink one. This is one by um, Ellen Sugarcraft. She has some lovely uh, different texture mats. See, it's perfect for a, for a baby. What you could do as well on these is what I haven't shown, take them off. Want to add a little bit more touch to it. Go down all the edges. So, right, so I know this is going to be the top, so what I tend to do when I'm doing this is I just flip them over. Then, just a touch of glue. Got that right, just on the top here. I've got five. I think I'll put that door. You don't have to press down too hard as you can see. to leave this to dry so for at least six hours or so so it is set on there quite hard so when you pick it up it's not going to move out of place so we'll leave that and then when it's dry I'll show you when we put it into the cake so as you can see this has been set overnight so that the paste is quite stuck onto the onto the wire here so to do your bow as you can see we've already done one here you can place a little bit of double-sided tape around the wire bit that you've placed on. Make sure it is nice and secure. You haven't got any bits, two bits sticking out from there. And then just make your bow. So it is quite easy. Slide it over. you've got it roughly the same size as the one that you've done on the other side and just pull it tight pull it down a little bit more and then just tighten it here down on the straw so you know you've got it but definitely that it's stuck on and then let's move this to the 
side. Got to place it onto your cake. So, so that is the front as so I'm looking at it here. So I might end up hitting the camera here. So I know roughly where I want to place it. I just decided like so. Just adjust your bows accordingly. 